Rogers set to drop the puck. Tonight's referee, the veteran, Terry Koharski. And we are underway as the Wolves will shovel it into the offensive zone. Joey Kraft trying to work it out in front. Greg Rallo takes it away. Another set play off the faceoff. Nice job by the Wolves getting it in early. Here Nuno leads it off, taken away by Rallo. Out in front, the Stars score more than seconds in and it is a giveaway and Menino gets stuck beside the goal he cannot get up and get back in front of his net exactly what you do not want to have happen on the road let the home crowd get in after a good face-off win and there's Menino it's actually his fault he stopped the puck I'm not sure if there was a lot of communication he wasn't sure or aware of what to do with the puck Morin an excellent shot with an empty net nice pass by Greg Rallo the Gurney native Morin getting his 14th goal of the season he is centering the line with Greg Rallo and Colton Sevier. Good chunk of time after yeah. blocking a shot with his face against Peoria. Six to seven weeks at least, they believe. Not really sure about that, but it was a wired shot for about six weeks. His mouth, jaw. Paul Postma scoring the game winner against the Rivermen on the power play. Plays it over to Welsh and is kicked away by Ford. Nice blast from the line by Noah Welsh. Now it's Postma controlling once again. Back to Welsh with Matt Anderson. Anderson, moving his feet, now down low pass. Out in front, Stewart shoots, he scores! The power play for the Wolves connects, and we're tied at what a pace on a goal by Anthony Stewart for Stewart. It is goal number 10 of the season. What a difference. Look at this puck movement. How quick, quick and brisk is it? Beautiful stuff. Anderson looking down to Crab. Crab knows immediately what he's going to do when he receives the Anderson pass right through in a one-timer just between the legs as Ford had to push up the post and he opened up with the legs. And Stewart just feeds it right through the middle. But I uh, love the work, love the movement of the puck. The defense, tough time in front, and they left Stewart alone. Both defensemen on one side of the ice. Anthony Stewart all alone. And what a feed that was from Crab. By the way, Matt Anderson off the ice if you uh, just saw hopefully an equipment Issues will move ahead. Brett Sterling right in the tape of Anthony Stewart. Prague will drive to that. Stewart pulls up pass. Blocked by Stevenson. Vishnevsky at the point, faking quickly to Krog, right in the tape. Now over to Cello. His blast just missing short side. Great puck movement by the Wolves. Aim for Stewart behind the net. He has the Chicago goal coming out of power play. Steps out in front. Free to Krog. He shoots. He scores. Anthony Stewart threads the needle. And Krog has five. Angel points. Congratulations. Grab that puck for Jason Krog. I think uh, they want the puck. I'm not sure where it is. Sterling's looking for oh, it. Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. It's going to be picked up by Vishnevsky, the newcomer. So 500 congratulations to Jason Krog. He's had a number of those points in a Wolves uniform. And what a shot this is. You know what? What a play by Anthony Stewart. He is so big, you can't stop him. Around the net. Look at that, just a little wave by Hutchinson, a wrap around, or it wasn't, it was Stevenson, and a pass, somewhat of a blind one, but through a maze of legs, and Jason Krog has an empty netter for a beauty. Tenth goal of the season for Jason Krog, giving the Wolves the lead, and a very significant milestone for the Wolves captain, 500 points, very impressive. They start the third period, and they're on the attack. Anderson leads it off, Stapleton over that crab out of his reach. Crab will pick it up. He's going to remember they're all right-handed. Yes. Vishnevsky oh. shot off the knob of the stick of Ford, so he's using everything in this game to stop pucks. <laughs> that was the 25th shot by the Wolves out in front. Stapleton low, kicked away by Ford. Back to Vishnevsky. Faking over to Chelios. Head up, back door for Crab. He shot, he scores! It was tipped out in front, and the Wolves have a 3-1 lead. I'm not sure if Matty Anderson touches his puck as uh, the sweep of Joey Crab. You get ready for Crab curling. That would be his 50th career. But I thought it changed direction yeah, right I in front so of the goal. We'll have a, a better look. Vishnesky, what a nice play that was to Chelios. Crab will get it. Yeah, it does. Yes. It. It's Matt Anderson's stick in the front of the net. So it'll be Matt Anderson's goal from Crab and Chelios. Nice play by Chelios though through that seam. And a nice play with good strength to the slot. And... Look at where the goaltender Scott Ford is going. He's going in anticipation all the way across. He's in no man's land. We're talking with Matt Anderson getting on the bus before the game. And Josh Fisher, hey there, Fishod. It's you're pronouncing his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
Michael Garnett, it's Michael Garnett. Yes. Steve Yours tip attempt out in front, broken up. Off the glass, away from Greg Rallo as a point in this game for Texas. So he's trying to get the early Billy Gardner interview karma. Mm -hmm. Turned over, Crab out in front, shoots, he scores! Joey Crab! He has been on fire as he buries his 19. That's a huge goal. We talked about insurance with Anderson, but Joey Crab, who we thought may have scored the goal, the last goal, he now gets his 50th a milestone career goal in the American <laughs> Hockey League. 19th this year, and what a turn around it has been for Joey Crab since Christmas time. Stevenson, good hit by Crab initially, and look at this. Stevenson has the puck stripped away as he almost overskated it, and Crab finding the puck quickly turns around again with control and will score a goal, handcuffs Ford. With just great pursuit of the puck, a nice hit initially by Crab, and then a fine goal. What a effort from Joey Crab, and that is what we have seen from him consistently since Christmas. He's putting out the clamps defensively after Texas scores 19 seconds into the game on a little miscommunication yeah. between the netminder and his defenseman, Paul Posma. Oh! And that would be it for the Texas offense. And I mentioned Just 16 it. shots. I thought they might surprise the Wolves and wake them up. And I really do believe that was the case because right after that, they came out like gangbusters. So sometimes it might be a negative for a short period of time, but I think overall a very, very solid game after that. And you mentioned it, only 16 shots. What a great defensive display by the Wolves. We talk about playing against the best defensive team in the West Division. Well, they put on a performance, performance themselves at 35 shots and an excellent 4-1 to victory.